Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Navy has 15 diesel attack conventional submarine in its service which includes 4 Kalvari or Scorpion class 7, Sindhu Ghosh or Kilo class and 4 Sishumar or Type 209 class submarines. Under Project 75, two more Kalvari class submarines will be commissioned into Indian Navy which are undergoing sea trials. Out of the remaining 7 Kilo class submarine, Indian Navy had sent three submarines to Russia for midlife refit and one more is slated to depart this year. A submarine undergoes mid-life refit after 30 years which adds additional 10 years to its life. Indian Navy had signed a contract with Russia to extend the service life of its 4 kilo class submarines pegged at Rs 5000 crore under project 08773. The upgrade will not only extend the life of the boats but will also upgrade their combat potential including club land attack cruise missile. As per latest report, INS Sindhu Ratna, which is undergoing a protracted refit come life extension in Russia, is planned to join Indian Navy in 2023. It is the second of the four old Russian Kilo class submarine planned to undergo the modernization program. If Indian Navy does not finalize the new submarine under Project 25I, they may have to opt for mid-life refit for the remaining three Kilo class submarine to add additional 10 years to their life. But the Project 25I timeline has further been extended. The last date for responding to the RFP of Rs 40,000 crore Project 25I has been extended by Ministry of Defence to August 2023. The RFP was first issued on 20th July 2021 for the acquisition of six conventional attack submarines equipped with fuel cell-based AIP technology under strategic partner route. The RFP was issued to shortlisted strategic partners that is Indian applicant companies which are Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited MDL, and Larsen and & Tubro. The two shortlisted strategic partners would be collaborating with any of the shortlisted foreign OEM which are five companies which are Naval Group from France, TKMS from Germany, JSC ROE from Russia, DSME from South Korea and Navantia from Spain. The foreign OEMs will be the technology partner in the strategic partner model. Foreign OEMs will also enable the strategic partner for construction of the submarines, achieving high levels of indigenization and transfer of technology for various technologies used in these submarines. These OEMs would enable setting up of the dedicated manufacturing lines for these submarines in India by providing TOT for submarine design and other technologies and make India the global hub of submarine design and production. However, there are two known issues in the RFP because of which Project 75I has been delayed and many foreign OEMs have pulled themselves out. And these are fuel cell based AIP system and a clause of joint and several penalties. Only two out of five OEMs have a proven AIP based submarines which are Germany and South Korea which automatically disqualifies other three OEMs. Navantia is also building S80 plus class of submarine with fuel cell based AIP but it is not operationally proven. While the foreign OEMs have assured of providing support for AIP at the time of construction of submarines but Indian Navy wants a proven in-service solution and not an underdevelopment one. As per report, the Ministry of Defence has given its approval for the amendment into Plus 25i tender which would allow the project to move forward. And this request has been made for the removal of the clause joint and severe liability from tender. According to this clause, the strategic partner would be held responsible for its work share along with foreign partner. The modification is sought in the clause according to which foreign partner will be responsible only and liable only for his work share in the project. However, the qualitative requirement of the program is not going to change. Now, as we know, all the big ticket defense acquisition of Indian Armed Forces has history of delay not just by years but by decades. While the uncertainty continues to loom over project timeline of 75i, 
Pakistan Navy is rapidly modernizing and increasing its submarine fleets. The current Pakistan submarine fleet consists of just two Agusta 70 diesel electric vessels with Mesma liquid oxygen AIP bought from France and three Agusta 90B diesel electric submarine. Now, out of these, three Agusta 90B submarines have been undergoing a midlife upgrade under contract in 2016 with Turkish STM company as prime contractor. STM has delivered the first upgrade submarine Penis Hamza in 2020 and the upgrade on the remaining two submarines are ongoing. Pakistan has signed another ambitious deal in 2016 with China for buying eight Hangor class submarines, a derivative of China's Type 39A Yuan class diesel electric attack submarine. China will build four of the submarines at Karachi shipyard and will transfer the submarine construction technology to Pakistan. These submarines will also include the air independent that is AIP technology featuring closed cycle Stirling engines. The first four submarines are expected to be completed by next year that is 2023 and remaining four by 2028 at an estimated cost of up to five billion dollars. I don't know from where Pakistan is getting this much money. In summary, by 2028, Pakistan will have total 11 submarines with AIP which will include three Agusta 90B submarines with Mesma AIP and eight Hangul class submarines with Sterling AIP. 11 submarines to counter Indian Navy is good number for Pakistan and gives them an upper edge. Indian defense planners will have to seriously look into this growing capability of Pakistan Navy. If I have to be very optimistic, it will take at least 13 more years to get new submarine under Project 75I. In contrary, India already has capability to quickly construct Calvary class submarine which will not only add the number to Indian Navy fleet but will also extend the production line at MDL which is almost idle. At the same time, one existing Kilo or Calvary class submarine must be handed over to DRDO for fitting its full cell based AIP in order to prove the technology and later other submarines can be upgraded when they are in for the midlife upgrade. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.